Uh, well, for starters, no one affiliated with No More Tears is on a salary. As the founder and the president, I do not take a salary. And um, our one of our board board members, actually, she's our board chair, Dr. Laura Finley, has donated a hundred thousand dollars of her own money into No More Tears. Um, I have used my savings, which uh, were three. $300,000 into the organization, um, which depleted in 2011. So we need all the support we can get. Um, we're also unique where we don't have anyone on a waiting list. Uh, we provide immediate assistance. And No More Tears is a one-stop shop. So we provide assistance with filing a restraining order. We accompany the victim to the court um, as a victim advocate. We help with divorce. We help with uh, immigration. We have uh, OBGYNs that volunteer. We have optometrists, dentists. Uh, we even have mechanics. If the victim's car goes is not working, that will offer free services. I think uh, driving lessons, uh, many a time the victim is not allowed to drive. Uh, we get them cell phones. We even open up a account for them because in many instances they don't have their own account and we give them $50 to open up their own bank account. And um, the objective, of course, is to empower them. We put them through nursing school. Um, the first victim that we rescued graduated with a PhD in pharmacy in 2011. So we, we believe not just giving them uh, a bed because that really doesn't help. We believe in teaching them how to fish and empower them and um, help them find a job, basically, so they're independent and they do not go back to the abuser because the statistics show that an, on an average a victim goes back to the abuser seven times. Um, in No More Tears' case we've been fortunate that out of 368 adult rescues only two victims went back.